Hey y'all, I wanted to come on here today and teach you how to use essential oils. There are three basic ways to use essential oils. The first way is to use them aromatically. The second is to use them topically. And the third is to use them internally. The first way, aromatically, is probably the most common way and how most people start out using essential oils or are first introduced to essential oils. And again, with that, the most common way is to diffuse them using a diffuser or something like this because it is the easiest way. All you do is fill this little diffuser up with water, put a couple of drops of essential oils in there, or you can even do a custom blend and put a couple of different ones in there, make your own blend, and then turn it on and it fills your entire room or house with this amazing fragrance of these essential oils. And it is a great way to help promote sleep at night, to help um, diffuse and kill germs in the air during cold and flu season. The other way that you can use them, and a lot of people don't really think about this when they're thinking about using them aromatically, is just to actually take the bottle and breathe it in like that. So that's the first way is to use them aromatically. The next way, which is also another common way, is to use them topically. Now, essential oils are very potent, they're very strong, and they're very volatile, which just means that they evaporate easily. So if you're wanting to use them on your skin or to absorb into your skin, you don't want them evaporating off because you're gonna waste your money and not get the benefit. So you need to dilute them into another oil so that they will actually stay on your skin and actually be absorbed into your skin. Because they are very powerful, a lot of times they can irritate your skin because they are so strong. So it's always wise to dilute them, especially if you're gonna use them on children or the elderly. So the great thing about doTERRA is they have these roller balls that are already diluted for you. You don't have to worry about trying to figure out how much to dilute and how to dilute them. This one here is Cheer, which is amazing because it's a really fun way to use it. I love the smell of it. It helps with just lifting your emotions and really cheering you up. I'll just rub it onto my wrist and breathe it in and it smells great and it helps just lift your mood. The last way of using essential oils is internally. And this way it's probably the most controversial way. You will hear all kinds of things about it, but this is my rule of thumb when using essential oils internally. Just like knives in the kitchen are very beneficial, but also very dangerous, that is the same way I think about essential oils. Essential oils have a lot of benefits, and yes, some of them are very potent, very powerful, but if we learn how to use them correctly, they can have a lot of benefit and healing power to our lives. When I use them internally, I almost always dilute them. The great thing, again, about doTERRA is that they have a lot of products where the essential oils are already diluted and ready-made for you. This is one of their supplements that I take every day and I, I absolutely love it. And it's already made into a gel cap. So all you have to do is take it. You don't have to worry about measuring, diluting, any of that, it's already done for you. If you're cooking and you just need some extra flavor and benefit, maybe you don't have the dried herb. I do this often when I'm making spaghetti sauce. I have ran out of oregano, can't tell you how many times but I usually do have oregano essential oil. And all I need is one drop in the entire pot and it will flavor it. That is a great and another way to add them internally. So those are the three ways to use essential oils. Again, to use them aromatically, topically, and internally. I hope y'all all have a great day. We'll see you next time.